Good afternoon. Yeah, today is decision day. We're at the super site in downtown where it's now overly busy here, but we have seen a steady flow of voters coming out to make their voices heard in this election. Now, if you've waited until day of to vote, just know that it is a very short ballot, so it won't be time consuming to fill it out. Now, there are more than 1.5 million registered voters. As of 9 a.m., more than 288,000 votes have already been cast. Many of those are from early voters voting and voting by mail. In these final hours before the polls close tonight, many of the candidates have been crisscrossing the city all morning trying to persuade those undecided voters. There are nine people running for mayor and to be elected mayor, a candidate needs 50% plus one vote. No candidate is expected to reach that threshold, so they're focused on finishing in the top two and heading to a runoff in April. But electing the next mayor is not the only big race this year. Voters in all 50 wards are also making a choice for aldermen. The older persons in at least 12 wards will take over because there was no incumbent on the ballot. And new this election, Chicagoans will vote for police district council representatives. Many voters who came out to this super site in the loop to exercise their civic duty and say regardless of who gets nominated, they say they would like to see some progressive changes for the city. I think just a reduction in crime would be great and just a better and safer community for everyone. I really just want to see a city that does work for every single resident that isn't um, singling anyone out, that isn't making an oppressive system for a group of people. And there have been some issues reported across different polling places across the city, such as delays, running out of supplies, and even one voter voting twice because they were given a ballot twice, I should say, and officials with the Chicago Board of Elections say that most of these issues have been resolved and in the next hour we're going to be hearing from them again just to give us an update on any other issues and of course a voter turnout. Now Chicagoans have until 7 o'clock tonight to vote and as long as you're in line by that time, you'll be okay. We're live at the Super Site. Andrea Medina, WGN News.